We're set up pretty uniformly with the with the pumps and tanks and all the different equipment and crews we have. We have over 65 locations Man. Um, across USA, Canada, UK, uh, and other parts of Europe. So we position ourselves to be able to respond uh, as quickly as possible to all these different base needs for, for our normal customer base and for emergencies that, that may happen. Yeah. Uh, but that the, everyone's locations has staff available and equipment available to respond to whatever needs may arise. Right. So, and, it, and just as a business model, it is, now, are you doing the install or there's some cases where you're just renting the units? I, again, some of these more complex, I was just trying to get an understanding of what the actual setup is, or does, does it depend on the application? Mm -hmm. You want to hit that, Mike? Depends on the application mm -hmm. or okay. the customer, right? We, we go from just straight equipment rental all the way up to a full turnkey system where we, we do the delivery installation design and actually operate the systems. Oh, so you're on some of these sites, uh, like on these mine sites where you're doing like temporary dewatering and things like that. You might actually be operating that system. Yeah, we may operate the system for a, and for a long-term job sometimes or sometimes uh, several months to years. So if you're going to outline it to, to someone listening, again, someone who doesn't know, how would you sort of, what are the buckets of service then? Are they sort of, is it sort of sectioned off? No, we, we're all inclusive. So we'll do the simple jobs, you know, if they require just equipment. Um, but we get involved sometimes very, very far in advance of a project. So we're involved with the initial issue, which is we have a temporary liquid handling issue. They come to us and let's work on a solution together. So that will involve engineering efforts to make sure this engineered are right. Um, and then putting together those, those systems and the proposals and then working that through. If uh, we are awarded the, the contract to actually put the equipment out there, staff it, install it, monitor it, provide reporting, and then disassemble all that and bring that back to the office.